ってこないの Oh, will、really、he not really? Yeah, you, you done screwed up now! <laughs> Unlike me on stammered reply, Rena was extremely clear and resolute. We got the spooky music. He won't come back. That was a very strange way of putting it. Normally, you would say that he hadn't come back yet. At least, I thought you'd only say it like Rena if he wasn't capable of coming back. <laughs> But that's not true, right? You wouldn't say it. You wouldn't say that when talking about someone who ran away from home. Well, I killed him myself, that is. <laughs> Rena's word choice felt very cold to me. It was so cold that I couldn't muster a response right away. Mian noticed the deadlock between us and hurriedly followed up on what Rena had said. All we found was his bat. When running away from home, I thought you were supposed to leave a note or something. So when Satoshi ran away, he would probably have left some kind of a letter apologizing to Satoko. That was just kind of what I figured. But from the way Mion was talking, it seemed a little different than just running away from home. えっと、サトシってバイトとかでコツコツとお金を貯めててさ、それをいなくなった日に全部おろしてたのが分かったんだよ。で、名古屋駅だかでサトシによく似た人が目撃されたとかで。He withdrew all of his savings to fund his escape from home. Was that it? It seemed consistent enough to me. But before I could say anything, Oh, I thought, I thought Rena said declared Rena shortly. No. ちょっと待てよ。転校したわけでもなく、引っ越したわけでもなく、それで家出したわけでもないなら、一体サトシはどうして？やめないよレナ。Mian whispered to her, "You're getting creepy again." Rena, however, continued without interruption, and then she said, "This." Ah, she's going on about Oyashiro-sama's curse again. Tatari. It took some time before I understood what Rena meant by that. Mian clicked her tongue and shook her head a little. Good eyes. You know, I don't know if I ever looked at what this、uh, version looks like. Ooh! Oh, I think that's a little bit creepier, actually. <laughs> Maybe. Ooh!、Oh. やめないよレナ。それは間違いなく親城様の祟りの前兆。きっとサトシ君は心のどこかで雛見沢を捨てて逃げ出そうという気持ちがあったんだと思う。それを親城様は許さなかった。だからやめなって。親城様は雛見
I hadn't intended to repeat it. But the words came out of my mouth anyway. Oyashiro Sama's curse. Wham! Mion struck Rena in the head. And not in a joking way either. Pushing her to her limits. Actually, there was plenty of displeasure and anger in Mion's face at that moment. For a few moments after being hit, Rinna looked astonished. Perhaps the voices of the Higurashi calmed her frantic mind, because after a little while, she regained her original calm expression. We arrived at the place we always split up with Mion. No one said a word until we got there. The voices of the Higurashi just tortured our ears with their buzzing. <sighs> We'd always split up with Mion here, leaving just Rinna and me. Uh-huh. She promised that? However, I quickly realized that it was a convenient way of saying she wanted to talk to me alone. Maybe she realized it. Maybe she didn't. Thankfully, Rena quickly said she'd go home before us. Don't ask too many questions if you know what I mean, Keiji. <laughs> Considering the fun day we had, it was a very insipid, lonely parting. After a little while, Mion finally spoke. Quite some time had passed since splitting up with Rena. At this point, I understood exactly what she meant by that. Judging by her odd interactions with Rena, I understood so well it hurt that I shouldn't ever talk about it again. Actually, if that's the case, then would she on too? No, this is a bigger problem. Talking about it in the first place had been indiscreet. I shouldn't have been interested in it at all. But that's why I really had to think about it. About why everyone got so irritated. Idiot, stop this, Keiichi Maibara! By the time I tried to warn myself, I'd accidentally spoken already. For a long time, Mian remained silent, but finally, unable to endure it any longer, she began to speak timidly. Yeah, I've heard about it a few times. I got the gist of it. I only overheard someone in class talking about it, though. Give me just a second. I gotta get some laundry done before I leave today. Oyashiro Sama was the name of the deity protecting Hinimizawa that they worship at the shrine we had the barbecue at today. And a few years ago, when they started talking about flooding Hinimizawa as part of the dam project, one of the people who worked on the site died or something, and people blamed it on Oyashiro Sama's curse. That's how it was. 
サトシの死んだ親ってのがさダムの誘致派でねえ日南沢の人って村中でダムに反対してたんじゃないのか村人なのにダムの賛成派もいたのか The dam project that would flood the entirety of Hinamizawa. I'd heard the village all got together to fight the terrible project, but it was a little hard to believe there were villagers who were supporting it. I support living in a flooded house. I'm not sure what I'm saying. 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 つまり、サトコとサトシの親が。My house is on top of a mountain. It can't get flooded. うん。国はダム工事に伴って多額の保証金を用意してたからね。そのお金が欲しくて、ダム計画に賛成してた人たちも結構いたんだよ。うん。Aside from a few households, Hinamizawa was in general not very affluent. And not because they were proud to inherit the land of their ancestors. It wouldn't be strange if some people wanted enough money to start a new life. But even in that case, they would have had to hesitate to say so given the situation. It just happened to be Satoko and Satoshi's parents, who understood that and stood up to be their representative. By that standard, you might say Satoko and Satoshi's parents were very heroic. They volunteered to be hated, all to help those without much money who didn't have a voice. So, the only thing is that 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 the o n e t h i n s t i m e t h e n o r w h y s a t o k o g o t k i l l e d m a y b e i t s c a u s e y o u k n o w t h e y w a n t e d t o k i l l e v e r y o n e i n h e r f a m i l y r e l a t e d t o t h a t それで、親代様のたたりにあったんじゃないかってことになっちゃったわけ。I thought back to what Coach told me today. They went to a nature park on a family outing and fell from a cliff. で、サトシが家出したのまで、親代様のたたりってことにされちまったわけか。まあ、うん、そんな感じ。It was a bit of an evasive reply, but I felt it was wrong to ask any further, so I didn't press her for details. I don't know if I can explain it, but I think it's a bit of an evasive reply. I don't know if I can explain it, but I think it's a bit of an evasive reply. I don't know if I can explain it, but I think it's a bit of an evasive reply. だからさ、私たちはサトコの家族の話には触れないことにしてる。サトシのことは、仮に聞かれても、転校したってごまかすことにしてる。その辺の事情を、汲み取ってもらえるよね。They wanted to protect Satoko's happiness, her smile. i s someone who thought that way once, even for a short time. I really did regret having been imprudent enough to broach the topic to begin with. Ah, Wakario. Or a more Karhazmina Kotoki Tato, Koka Stir. When she heard that, Mian smiled, seeming a little relieved. With that understanding, thinking I should get going, I began to make my way home. I could really have stopped by Mian's house, but it was already late. I'd stop by again the next time I had the chance. Jana, Mio. Kyoa, Wakatana. Mata Astana. Um, Jane. We waved to each other. Then, suddenly remembering something, Mion called out to me. Kejan, Atosa. Satoko ni dakejanaku. Rena no maidamo. Satoshi no Hanashiwa. Yeah, Rena's, uh, yeah. You say anything about. <laughs> About, about him, and then she just goes crazy. Saki no de Wakata to Moketa, sa. Lena te, do you wakeka, Oyashiro sama no tatari no Hanashi dakewa, Wara and Kostikta tokikara. 
Yeah. Judging by how Rinna was acting earlier, it was clearly no laughing matter to her. Mian had interrupted the conversation for us. But if Mian hadn't been here, what might have happened? You probably would have died. Not only Rinna either, but Xian too. <laughs> Mian emphasized this as her expression clouded even further. Yeah, she broke some windows and blamed it on him. I'm not really sure what's going on there. でも、for everyone else's too. And if I must say, for your own sake too, Kei Chen, or Kei Chen, with her silence, Mian made sure I knew that. So that, uh, I got Saying only that, she waved her hand and began walking away. I watched her go, a little dazed, then started walking myself. Satoko's older brother, Satoshi. Had he run away from home? Or had he been a victim of the curse and disappeared forever? Whichever the case, none of this was anything I should have asked about. The cooling air forced me into self-reflection. I wanted Satoko to smile, yet my curiosity easily defeated me, and I friv frivolously tried to step into the dark side of things in a joking way. I'm shameful. I wanted today to be exactly like yesterday. I wanted tomorrow to be just as fun as today, too. So why did I go and do something like that? We were having a blast at the baseball game yesterday. And today we had a blast at the big barbecue party, too. It was a lot of fun. But then I went... I went on and almost nullified all of those fun times. I would have to be more careful starting tomorrow. I would put all this unpleasant stuff behind me forever. Like I'm going to let my enjoyable life in because of how careless I was today. Uh, wouldn't be the first time... But the more I thought that I'd be more careful starting tomorrow, the more I couldn't get rid of the ominous thought that I had already put an end to those enjoyable days with what I'd just done. Hey, wait. Calm down, Kei my Bara. The gears of destiny are freaking gigantic, aren't they? What happened just now was trivial. It doesn't make any sense to think my life will be totally different starting tomorrow. But even though I understood it logically, the mist in my heart wasn't going to fade until tomorrow turned out to be as fun as today. I wish tomorrow would come already. I wanted it to make I wanted it to make me understand how absurd my insignificant doubts really were. The night was long. You screwed up now, Kate. You're gonna die. Just hope you realize that. It's how it's how it always starts. Alright, we got three today. Oh, autopsy? What's, what's, what's Autopsy of what? Mystery meat. Oh, where did the meat come from? <laughs> Let's take a look. 
the slacking manager. Shion san mo sukoshi wa tetsudatte kudasai. In a slightly lighter tone. Onna no ko ni omoi mono o hakobase yo te yun desu ka? So na da kara ii toshi ni natte mo aite ga mitsukara nai desu yo kantoku wa. Eh to desu ne. So yu no o iwaku ko iimasu. Eh, yoke na o sewa desu. He was loading the station wagon with heaps of equipment we'd used for today's barbecue meeting. All the fathers and sons who had helped were starting to get on their way. So, Shion san, what do you think? You, what did you get here? It was a car that 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 was a car. 今日は来てくれて嬉しかったですよやはりマネージャーさんがいないとパッとしませんからねまだ私マネージャーなんですか一年もまるまるサボってんだからこんな無能マネージャーいい加減に解雇するべきだと思いますよええシオンさんが辞めたいって自分で言えたらいつでも解雇してあげますよちょずるいな早く解放してくださいよね。試合があるたびに来ないかと電話がかかってくるの、もううざくてかなわないんですから。シオンちゃんももっともっと素直になれば、とってもキュートで可愛い女の子なのに、お父さんは悲しいですよ。一体どこでねじ曲がってこんなにひねくれてしまったんだか。ああ、お父さんの愛の抱擁で力強く包み込めば。目が覚めますかでしたら遠慮なくほーらーコーチは、フォーリングアウトで、あれは、あれは、あれは、あれは、あれは、あれは、あれは、あれは、あれは、あれは、あれは、あれは、あれは、あれは、あれは、あれは、あれは、あれは、あれは、あれは、あれは、あれは、あれは、あれは、あれは、あれは、あれは、あれは、あれは、あれは、あれは、あれは、あれは、あれは、あれは、あれは、あれは、おっしゃりたいのですか<笑>帰ってきますよきっと待っている人がいるんですから<笑>勝手なこと言っててください彼も罪作りな人ですよねこんな可愛い彼女を置き去りにしてどこへ行ってしまったんだかえっか彼女誰が誰がえ<笑><笑>ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハたまには応援に来てくださいよまあ気が向いたら私マネージャーなんか全然もうやる気ないんですからいいんですよあなたが嫌ならいつでもクビにしてあげますよ嫌がるのを無理やりってのは私の性分ではありませんからねふふ<笑>チェああはいはいすみませんねすみませんね私の負けです気が向いたらまた応援に来ますので今日は堪忍してください<笑>おっともうこんな時間機材返す約束の時間が先方をもうだいぶ待たせてますねでは今日はこの辺でまた次の試合でお会いしましょうええ気が向いたらねさよなら監督。Alright. Whose who's autopsy is this? The autopsy suggests the victim was killed in the following manner. Entire body bound in restraints. Traces left behind from when the body seemed to have been bound indicated usage of a specific restraining table rather than rope or another common method. 
Finger joints in either hand appear to have been bound especially tightly. Highly likely that the table was either specially made or homemade, given this information. Both ears and nose severed with a sharp blade. Traces of the restraint and other things seem to suggest there was at least one more other than the one who severed these body parts holding down the victim's head. Possible that multiple blades were used, with one of them most likely being scissors or shears. Five nails penetrated fingers in each hand. One long nail stuck in each joint oh, of each finger on each hand for a total of 30. The deceased fingers were nailed to wooden planks, 20 square centimeters large. Extremely likely these planks were part of the restraining table. Ugh, I, I feel gross when I read that. <laughs> in addition, it's likely that the table was originally designed for such a purpose. Abdomen incised, intestines removed. The incision in the abdomen is likely to have been a technique grounded in medical methodology using a sharp blade. Estimated that there was still no threat to the victim's life at this stage. I'm pretty sure when your intestines are gone, that is a threat. After this, the organs inside the incision were dismantled and removed. The victim likely died as a result of this process. Body disposed. After fastening a dumbbell to the victim's neck using a commercial pet collar, the victim was likely abandoned in the Oji River Third Drain. Oh, right! The guy, or the, the person from the beginning of the story. That makes more sense. Judging by the dumbbell's weight, it's highly possible they would have needed at least three grown men to have disposed of the body. To Oishi-san, here's a copy of the preliminary autopsy of the slaughtered corpse in the Oji River. Chief Shigaharu sees this as a possible relation to the S-Group. What are your thoughts, Oishi-san? Uh, my thoughts, are that's, yeah, that's weird. ふふふ。出ましたね、ロンチュンドラさん。漫画です。えなんすかそれ。飲んでドラが3つも入んすか。バカもんが。大石が転敗したの分かってて、カンドラ増やしよってからに。自業自得じゃぞ。チュン晒
事件の後姿を消したって聞いてましたけどそうかその女のところに転がり込んでたかますますにそのザキの匂いがプンプンだの彼氏は今どこに女のアパートに同居してたんすがね女が自分を捨てたと思ったみたいで店やたまりのあちこちを探し回ってるらしいっすはい。